Hi guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, coming to you on YouTube Live. Number one, happy freaking Monday. How are y'all doing today? So first of all, and, and man, I've been working on this, so I want to tell y'all what this is all about. Do you think YouTube channels are a great place to get logical, organized, thought-provoking information? Because I do. And do you like a spontaneous and playful video without all the freaking BS? Because I got to tell you, I do too. And... If you like that, you like video without all that, do you respect the unbiased opinion of a real plumber? Because I want everyone to know I care about you. And if so, will you press that subscribe button and gently ring that bell so you don't miss out on anything? Look, we are doing cool things over here. We go live every Monday. I'm Roger Wakefield. I am a master plumber and we talk plumbing here. The fun thing about it is it's not just me. I've got other plumbers. I've got people that want to get into the trades. I've got people that are in the trades and want to get better. And I got trades company owners that want to learn to grow their business and they're learning it right here. So we're doing all kinds of fun things. I want to jump into the chat real quick. Say hello to, of course, Miss Amber Mendoza starts it out. Magic 6172. Hi, Tom and Gabor. How are you doing? Good to have you in here. Monday Funday, welcome to the trades. Mr. Austin says, happy Monday crew. Algeria Saxon Sr. says, here in Uganda, East Africa, watching you teacher. Number one, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for watching. Gop says, hello. Grass Guy 11 says, hello to you. Hello, you made a live. Lord Garth, hey, man, we're all about making it to the lives. And Timothy DeMarco says, hi. Moises says, hey, what's up? Good to have you all in here. So first of all, look, do, do you think YouTube is a great place to get logical, valuable information? It's organized and thought provoking because I got to tell you, there's a lot of good stuff here on YouTube and that's what we try to bring. You know, the next big deal is we're spontaneous. We're playful. We like to have fun and we don't bring a whole lot of BS here. And then if you respect the unbiased opinion of a true, real plumber right here in Dallas, Texas, I want to help you out with that. And the last part is I want everyone to know that I care about y'all. I love y'all. I want this to be great. This is a great place to come learn about the trades right here on YouTube. Now, if you look up in the top, there should be a pinned comment up there and I don't see it right now, but it is there tradesofacademy.com slash questions. If you will jump up there, ask what questions you got. I will jump into the form. I will be answering stuff over there. So great place to make sure that your questions and comments get answered. Tyler Clemente, how we doing in the house? Cujo Show Gaming from Louisiana. Some of my favorite food in the world comes from down there. My favorite restaurant is Drago's, just in case you were wondering. Mr. Steve Arloa, good to have you in here, my brother. And I kind of wish I was in Hawaii. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, would you be willing to come to Hawaii to shoot a video? I'm like, uh, yeah. Stuffy Lobster 29, what's going on? Bunny Bubs, how are we doing? Trey Baker, you're the best, brother. Now look, man, y'all are the best. I just get to be here and communicate with y'all, and I love that. Uh, Cottontail Grouse says, we, report you, we support you from Worcester, Massachusetts. Good to have you in here. And, and look, I mean, I love it up there. I love going up to Boston, going up there and hanging out and getting to do some fun stuff. I actually got to go to a Rangers game at Fenway Park. Of course, we got beat, but God, it was so much fun. Uh, most disgusting thing you pulled out of a sink? I oh, got it. Probably a used condo used condominium worst thing you ever want to pull out of a sink uh canadian ua steam fitter here good to have you what part of the what part of canada are you in i've got great friends up in the northeast just north of new york uh jamie female pipe fitter female iron worker from god you've got to tell me what area is up there uh Baker, hey there, Snowing Fire, good to have you in here. Hello again from Norway, welcome back. Yes, and or no, I love that. Yes, well, and or no. 
Uh, stuffy lobster, the goat. Hey. Yes, no spamming. See, oh, that was Nightbot, wasn't it? I love that. Nightbot takes care of me, guys, just so y'all know. Uh, Timothy DeMarco, love you, love you, man. Appreciate y'all being in here, each and every one of y'all. Mm, not like this. Hayden Bibb says, hey, I'm from Waco, Texas. Number one, good to have you in here. I love it. Guys, I don't know how long I'm going to make it today. I've got like a upper respiratory thing going on. I've got uh, cough drops in the house. I have ice cold water to try to help me get there. Don't know if it's going to make it, but we will see. Scott Hun says, do you know how long it takes a tree root to pierce the sewer line? Sorry, guys, trying to get my throat cleared up here real quick. Uh, to the point that it makes clogs. And, yo, I really don't. I would say it would have to depend on how big the penetration is, how aggressive the root is, a lot of things there. Taylor, good to see you here from the UK. I love that. Katajay Delman. So just got an interview from ABC in Baltimore next week. Thank you for your plumbing interview videos. And you are more than welcome. I hope it goes well for you. And here's the thing, look, that ABC is great. I've been dealing with them for a long time. Uh, ABC. PHCC, CEF, there's so many wonderful places around that are doing so many good things. And I really think that, and the more of these organizations that come around that really help people, it's going to be wonderful. Mm. CG213B, I think I mentioned that a while ago, it's a condo. I'm not talking about a condominium. <laughs> Max McGeed says, how hard is it to remove blood 100% from your plumbing system? I don't know, man. We ought to do a video on that. That could be pretty funny. Timothy says, Roger has the best videos. Guys, look, I, I tell you what, let's do something fun. At least it's fun for me. If you're in here right now, and, and I, I'm saying we got about 60 people in here. If you're in here right now, number one, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the share button and share it with somebody. But here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to just share it. I want you to take a picture of yourself watching this video, share it on either Facebook, <laughs> LinkedIn, share it on whatever social media platform you're on. Tag me in it. I will get with Liz. We'll make sure everybody who tagged us in it, we will reach out, say hello, say thank you, say I appreciate it and all that. But do me a favor, tag me in it at Roger Wakefield, at The Expert Plumber, whatever tag you want to use. We, we've got a lot of them out there. Tag us in it. Look for us on that tag on that platform, and we'll make sure to give you a shout-out because we got some cool stuff we're working on. And, and Timothy, your, your thing right there, Roger has the best videos, made me think of it. If you know anybody that you think these videos could help, that could learn something, that could get in here and be like, hey, you know what? I need to know what's going on in plumbing. I'm a plumber. I'm a high school graduate. Whatever the deal is, if you know somebody you think could use this information, number one, like the video. Number two, share it. And what that's going to do is going to tell the algorithm that you think, hey, this is a good video. When you share it, we're going to go back and find you, and we're going to come in and comment on your post. So thank you very much. Scott Hoon, I especially expect this from you since you are from Lindale, Texas, the home of Love and War and Miranda Lambert and Roger Healy's personal residence. I love it. Joseph Spencer says, what's the best way to fix a condensate stoppage? I tell you what, we use compressed nitrogen and a rig to lightly blow it out or blow the heck out of it, whichever way we want to go. And it works. Mm. Hi, crew. How are you? Christopher Jones says, what is the best recommendation to change cast iron to PVC at the hub? Man, I have literally filed PVC down, put tape around it, lubed it up, and shoved it in there. A lot of different ways to do it. Will a natural gas water heater increase water pressure? 
nothing you do is going to increase water pressure. It may be better than a tankless because a tankless may be reducing your pressure because it's got to slow the flow to heat it up. Yait says, love your videos. Thank you very much. Joseph, we are in Richardson, Texas, just northeast of Dallas, Texas. Good jump, I'm going to scroll back up now. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, taking out my cough drops here. Uh, how we doing from Windsor, Ontario? I love that. Been waiting in the mail for your union test results to get in as an apprentice and it's driving you nuts. Ryan, where are you located at? Just out of curiosity. Love from Bangladesh. Hey, man, good to have everybody in the house. I love this. Have you ever been to unclog a sink and something happens like the drain explodes or something? Not that the drain explodes, but it's actually the, the, the brass chrome plated P trap has actually the bottom of it's busted out. And then you could smell all the chemicals. It was bad. Love it. Cottonelle grouse. Get off the stage. Watch it. I don't know why she's on you. Dad was a pipe fitter in Canada. Used to call him with your plumbing DIY. Now I'm your second reference. Man, one day I'm going to do good. I'm going to move up to first reference place. I love it. Lord Garth, thank you very much. Good to have you in here. Uh, Roger, longtime watcher. First time live. I have a little 55 home with those bad pops. Water's coming out brown. And you can try flushing it, but once it starts coming out brown, you, you've probably got corrosion in there. You're going to have to get addressed. Isaiah, I like this. Hey, Roger, do you offer customer financing, working on using Synchrony, wondering what financing company you use? i got to tell you, uh, we use Wells Fargo, and I love it. I love the fact that we have that opportunity. I deal with a lot of people new to owning their own business quite often. And the bad thing about it is they get in and they're like, I've met people that are just now getting around to using credit cards. And, you know, my whole thought process is, look, the more options you have for your customer, the better it's going to be. If you can literally get in, help your customer, help them in any way that you can, I, and I really think that, financing, I really think that things like that are a big deal. So yeah. And as y'all can see, I'm running way behind. I see somebody I'm jumped over in the live, just took a look. <coughs> uh, somebody put in, if you ask him a question, it'll take a while for him to reply. You have to be patient guys. If you don't want to be patient, go up into the chat or into the very top of the chat. There's a link to the forum up there. I've only got two questions in there so far. I will be jumping into those here pretty quick. Just in the beginning, I like running through the chat, saying hello to everybody, seeing how everybody's doing. And then what we'll do from there, I'll jump over into the forum, which is that link up top. Actually, watch this. It's right there. See, man, that turned out pretty good. If you go to that link right up there, right up there, and click on it, go over there and ask your question, fill that out. I'll be jumping over there in a minute and I go through all them. So then I'll come over in the chat. So it kind of bounces me back and forth. Is it okay to flush blue roll down the toilet? Don't know what a blue roll is. I know the night bot man will take care of you. La Jolla, California. Scott Hewn says, okay, Roger. I love it. Rod Rosaha says, follow you from a long time ago. Got California, Houston, Texas. Anthony Mercer, good to see everybody in here. What is the best trait you look for when hiring a plumber, choosing a plumber? And I look for honesty. I look for plumbers that, man, when they come in, they're sincere. They care about their people. They want to do what's right for them. When you find people that are not like that, when you find people that and you can tell they're BSing you. Well, you know what? If you're here to apply for a job and you'll BS me, you'll BS the customer, and I really don't like that. So, man, I want, I want people that are going to be straight up legit. Red Rose says, I think one day I will meet with a plumber. Uh, you know what? Plumbers are good guys to meet with. We're, we're good people for the most part. Uh, 
try to complete your GED soon, become a plumber. You know, it's funny. I actually met with a group of high school students today, and I told them, look, that GED test ain't easy. Uh, man, I would finish high school, whatever I did, and then go from there. So play with it that way. Taylor Ellis, jumping over into the questions real quick. I got a few here in the forums. So it'll be a great time to go, go over. Hi, Roger. Uh, should I wrap the copper pipes when I'm burying it in concrete? You know, when we come through concrete, when we make a, a penetration, I like to either have it insulated or wrapped in a gas mill, uh, a poly type wrap. I think that is a great thing to do. Anything you can do to help keep the concrete from getting on the pipe, on the copper itself, it's going to help you out a lot. <sighs> Jumping back over here for the next one. Stoning says, so I saw a video siphoning water uphill. Didn't make sense. Water flows downhill. Something about gravity and pump. But in another language, not, not an REM pump. Said heavier water outflow to intake. It was confusing to explain. Figured the master plumber would be able to explain the science better. The only way water goes uphill is if you're pumping it. Not a siphon, not a backflow or anything like that. You can get it to siphon backflow, but eventually the weight of the water is going to pull it back down. I would say if you saw a really good video, do me a favor and send it to me. Put it on my subreddit channel. And if Sean Strong was in here, he would be so happy right now. Uh, there's the link to my subreddit channel. If y'all are not joined yet, you really ought to think about going over there, getting on the subreddit channel. Because over there, you can put pictures, videos, you can put all kinds of things. And when I see it there, I can actually share it on my YouTube channel. And we've got some pretty cool videos that we've got off YouTube from over there. So I would say, man, go over there and check it out. Uh, is it hard to get paint out of a toilet? It's probably harder to get it out than it is get it in. Love what you do. Keep what you do. Uh, man, I, I'm going to keep this up. I am thoroughly enjoying this. Thinking about joining the trades, but I noticed that the positions posted on Indeed for apprenticeships already want you to be enrolled in a training program. Uh, Angela, here's what I'll tell you is I really think now's a great time to get in the trades. Maybe not in – if they're telling you you've already got to be in a training program, I would ask them what kind of training programs they have or recommend that they put their people through. Everybody does not go through a training program. Some people do, some people don't. But my whole thought here is, number one, this is a great time to get in the trades. You're going to end up making good money. You're going to end up having a great living. The, the, the pay scale is going to keep going up over the next few years because of the way the trades are growing. So I really do. I think you've got a great opportunity here, and this is a great time to get in the trades. I would reach out to GCs and ask them, or contractors, not necessarily a GC, reach out and ask them, look, do you have a training program you put your people through? Because I want to come to work for you, but I want to know I'm going to get trained to grow and do well. And that's that's really a big deal to me. Austin says, about to go apply for your local UA Plumbers Union. Any tips for me? Somewhat nervous for the mechanical aptitude test. I talk about that a little in some of my videos. Austin, what I'll tell you is go through my videos and where I'm talking about interviewing for that job, interviewing for that position, I would definitely think about it. Uh, you know, they want people that are going to come into the union that will help the union get better. So it's definitely something worth looking for. All right, I'm going to try to jump back over in the forum real quick just to see if I have any more questions over there. And I do. Austin, and this may be the same question, and it is. So I'm going to go back over to Gabriel. Gabriel says, hey, Roger, what do you think about getting a plumbing career preparation certificate at a community college before becoming an apprentice? Here's what I'll tell you all is, look, there are some training programs that are really good. I've got two programs out right now. We've got Trade Talks, the Getting Into the Trades program, which is teaches you about getting into the trades and how to move up and be the best, and we have Plum Study. 
Now, plumb study is for literally people that are wanting to get into plumbing. But the trade talks, the trades academy and getting into the trades, I think is phenomenal. And the reason I do is because it teaches the people the things that they need to know to move up. Meaning, and I talked about this today over at that high school. There's so many people that get in the trades right now, they think once they get that license, they're good. They can stop learning. They're good. They can stop growing. They have that professional license. And they're right. They do. The problem with that is they want to quit learning. They want to quit growing. To me, at that point is where you really want to start learning. It's where you can move up and do really, really well. So, Gabriel, man, I think that is phenomenal. Thank you so much for jumping in here and asking that. I think that's really a big deal because it's bad to me that most people get in the trades and they stop. You hear my baby? I'm trying to watch my meter jump to see if y'all can. Uh, yeah, he tells me when somebody comes to the door. So if you come after me, you got to beware. My dog going to get you. All right. I am trying to jump back over in the chat. Not sure where I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump in at the very bottom. Make it easy on me. Uh, back up just a few. Says, uh, ever since the freeze, I wanted to be a plumber. Jimmy John, good to see you in here. Old Blood Mimic says, I'd say so. Angela says, thank you. You are more than welcome. Thank you, Adam. You are more than welcome. Sean Van Tiem, good to have you in here. Hey, Roger, I'm an apprentice from Newfoundland, Canada. Number one, cheers to you. I, I am constantly reaching out to Justin Trudeau. I'm trying to do things with the union up there, not just with the union, with the trades up there. I think what y'all are doing in the trades, the way you've got university, the training programs, everything y'all have, look, I think it's phenomenal. I wish the United States would do more to help promote the trades. Miss S says, hey, Roger, I've seen your work, and I'm glad you train your guys to do it right. Number one, thank you so much, because to me, that is the best compliment ever. Look, we do train our guys to do things right. And I got to tell you, some guys want to learn to do things right. Unfortunately, some don't. Some are like, look, I just want to get out there, get it done, make my money, and leave. The bad thing is, man, that, that's not good. And when I get plumbers like that, really, I'm, I'm ready to get rid of them. <laughs> Reptiles one says, hi, how are you doing? Roger, you done got a good, good boy. Man, I thought I was a good boy. What do you mean? I got one. I know snow and fire. I, I hear her too, or hear him too. He's a good boy. He's a rescue dog. And I got to tell you, and this is kind of funny. So snowing fire. Thank you. You know, we, we got a rescue dog and the night I went over to pick him up, he had rope burns around his ankle, his back foot. And his face was just covered in scars. And the people that we got him from had been tying up, tying him up, letting pit bulls use him as a bait dog. And man, that just drives me crazy. But I got to tell you, he's the most loving dog, the most friendly dog. And I do. I, I'm trying to give him the best life he could have ever imagined. I bring him to work every day. I take him home every day. He just, he's with me all the time. And he's a great puppy. T-Man 21 says, do your plumbers mess with the apprentices a lot? I want to tell you, I hope they don't, but I'm sure they do some. There's a little bit of, of hazing, uh, of giving people a hard time, but I got to tell you, I think my apprentices really do. They get to work with some good plumbers. I think that the plumbers that we have are fantastic. And getting them in, getting them trained by the right people, it, man, I think it's just such a big deal. Edwin Parra says, Father, uh, Hope you're not talking about me, but I'm here for you. Which brand of power tools would you recommend for an apprentice doing finished trim? Uh, Breeze, I got to tell you, I, I use all of them. I, I've got, uh, I mean, just right here behind me, I've got Rigid, Milwaukee. I've got DeWalt over here. Uh, man, I, I think that they each one make great tools. They each one do different things. You got to find out which one does what you want done the best. And to me, that's what it's all about. Billy Gazan says, hello, how are you? What is the worst plumbing you ever fixed? Man, uh, any bad plumbing that gets fixed it is the worst because, oh, let, let me put it this way, any plumbing that's been fixed by someone else first, and it's bad because they've normally paid somebody to fix it. Tough way to look at it, but it's bad. Okay, 
Macho Sancho says it's pr pronounced Newfoundland. Thank you very much. Cody Delivery Man says, hey, Roger, 16 years old. Do you think I should pursue a career in plumbing? Here's what I'm going to tell you. Here's what I'm going to ask you. Do you think you should? Look, it's not up to me. I've got a free mini course on, on my YouTube channel that you can go in and figure out what kind of tradesperson you want to be. That's going to help you out a lot. And once you get in there and figure out what kind you want to be, that'll help you figure out, hopefully, what trade you want to be in. So there's a lot of different things to it. It's something nobody can answer for you. You can ask your parents. You can ask your aunt and uncle. You can ask anybody in the world, do you think I should do this? There's certain questions in there you need to answer yourself. That's going to help you figure out what you want to be. I wish I could. Cody Delivery Man, I wish I could. Ben says, hey, Roger, how long do you think plumbing will last before AI possibly takes over, if ever? Love the videos as well. Keep it up. Ben, I love this question because whenever I was talking to my best friend in 1980 about me getting in the trades, why I could possibly get in the trades, one of the things we brought up was, look, this is something robots will never be able to do, and I still don't see it. They may be able to do a little bit of it, meaning add a plant, make a fitting, make a pipe. They're not going to be able to go out and communicate with customers, and they are not going to be able to go out and do the job, at least not anytime soon. Now, we may get there. I just don't think we're there yet. I don't think we're very close yet. So what I tell you, that's why I think right now is a great time to get in the trays because I truthfully think over the next few years, plumbers are going to be making over $100 an hour not just plumbers, other trades too. But if you're a plumber, an electrician, if you want to specialize in slab leak, leak detection, anything at all like that, this is a great trade to get in. What do I need to do or ask when I hire a plumber? Well, if you're hiring a plumber, ask them about what skill sets they have, what skill sets they want to have. How do they want to improve? How do they want to grow? There's so many things there. Uh, Jimmy John, I hope you're a female, number one. Number two, I'm already married. Uh, Munchie looked over my questions. If I did, I didn't mean to. Uh, I will say this. I'm in the comments right now or over in the forum. Uh, Munchie, there is no question over here that was done today. I'm going to go back here. I've answered every question in here. So if you put it, guys, I do not guarantee to answer chest ch questions in the chat. I've told you all, if y'all got questions, please go to the forum, go up to the top right there, click on that link. It'll take you to the forum, fill it out. I will answer all those. Cameron Livingston says, have you ever had a problem with flex shaft? Actually, I haven't. I actually love flex shaft. I, I think that is so good. Uh, okay, Macho, be nice. Hey, I got to tell you, and, and this is really funny. I go out and eat at restaurants, and I'll have guys pull up next to me and say, hey, man, look, I don't want this to sound weird or anything, but but you're kind of cute. Uh, now, I can't. Uh, there's something about this mustache and being a plumber. So if you want people to pick up on you, look, male, female, whatever it is, it, it happens. Okay? Just it happens. Don't be hating on nobody. Joel says, I'm not a plumber, but when I installed a Home Depot GE Wi-Fi water filter and showed him I can cut my whole home water off with your phone, he literally thought it was magic. Joel, I got to tell you, there's a system out there called Meter Dog. It's a whole, whole house leak detection system. It's phenomenal, and I love it. Have a, have a newbie in the chat. Newbies are welcome. Quada says, hey, Roger, my name's Jason. Father and brother both do trades work, plumbing and welding. Watching your videos gives me hope. I can progress, hopefully, with plumbing yourself. I love that. Here's what I want to tell you, and I got this from talking to trade school today. The opportunities are for all of us. And whether you're new in the trades, whether you've been in the trades for a while, guys, look, we need more people in the trades. And the possibility to get in 
move up and do better than others it is better than ever. Because a lot of people in the trades right now, they just want to check. They, they really don't want a job. They just want to check. And my thing is, if we get in, we work hard, we can put ourselves in position to do whatever we want to do. So I love it. Old Blood Mimic says, okay, legit, my father's a plumber. Watching your videos, talking to him has inspired me to learn from him and become a residential service plumber. Thank you so much for inspiring. Number one, congratulations. Uh, and again, I, and look, I, I know I talk about what I do a lot during the days, but, but today going out and talking to a plumber, to a school for plumbers and HVAC techs, I loved it. I want to say hello to Miss Marianne Markowitz. I hope you and Marty are doing fantastic. Great to see you in here. And I hope I got here before you jumped out. Uh, it's, it, it is. It's wonderful seeing you in here. It's so funny, Marianne. I went on a plumbing job. It, it's probably been a year now, but literally right across the street from where y'all lived. So, and, and I got over there and I saw the house and thought about it. So it's wonderful seeing you in here. Thank you so much. And I'm going to actually pull up YouTube over here on the other side. So if you're still in here, just jump in real quick and say, yeah, I hear you. Uh, and I'll at least know you were still here. Uh, Thomas Mooney says, just started my apprenticeship as a plumber. Without you, probably wouldn't have thought about doing it. Guys, look, getting into the trades is phenomenal. And right now is as good or as better a time than ever because there's less people getting in the trades. There's more people retiring from the trades. And the opportunities are just going to keep growing. So you're going to be able to make more money right now from getting in the trades than ever in history. And I think it's phenomenal. JKMF1 says, started an adult education class in plumbing this month. Can't wait. Uh, have any thoughts about a class like that in Southern California? Guys, anywhere you can go to learn a trade, anywhere you can go to learn to do something better, I have no problem with it all. I think it's great. You know, and this is funny. Macho Sanchez says, the, the thing I hate about the trades is how toxic everyone is. And it's really funny because I use this comparison all the time. And, and I see construction cronies. Chris is in here. Don't know if any of the mods are in right now. But I've told the story before about if I had a sewer camera go out right now and I went to the plumbing company down the street, literally – they would be like, dude, where's the job you were going? We'll send somebody over there to do it. <clears throat> one of my cameras went out one day, and I was calling one of the consultants that I work with saying, hey, look, man, I got a camera down. I'm probably not going to go live. He said, do you want me to bring you mine? Now, this is a long time ago. The cameras I, the cameras I was buying back then were about 100 bucks each. He says, you want to use mine? And I said, Dude, your camera's like eight grand. Mine's like a hundred bucks. And he just started laughing and he's like, look, man, you can borrow my camera anytime you want to. And I thought that that was so strange that somebody I had just met in an industry that I'm brand new at is offering me an $8,000 camera just to use. And I told him that story. I said, look, if my camera went out and I called a plumber down the street, they would literally be like, Where's the job you're working on? Do you want me to go do it? And, and they'd try and steal it from me. So I've got to say you're right. Uh, Macho Sancho, and you're so right. The trades are very toxic. It, it's a cutthroat group, and, and I really wish that it would get better and we would learn how to grow and help each other because I, I think that that could make it such a better place. So thank you for putting that in there. I like this. Wacky Force says, says, hey, Roger, what things should every business owner know if he or she wants to have or run a successful service plumbing business? Number one, your customers are always first. Take care of them with all your heart. Uh, every time you go on a job, look at them and say, look, if this was my mother or my grandmother, what would I recommend doing here? Because to me, it's the smartest thing you can do. Roger, working on getting into the local union. Any advice? Yes. They let, let them know you're there to help the union grow. How far is USA compared to other countries when it comes to leak safety? Uh, I'm a plumber from Norway. And from your videos, I feel like we have stricter standards. We have to follow. Do 
Now, Road Janusoy, and I hope I said that name right. What I would tell you is, I, I don't know where y'all are at. Look at my videos and see, and we'll go from there. Munchie, I have not seen your question. I've gone and looked in the forum where I told people to put their questions. So if I see it, I'll get to it. If I don't, I won't. Man, it is what it is. I'm trying. Uh, somebody did something while I go and put something in here. I thought that was really smart. Just put a cue in front of it. Put a cue. Put the question in there. Tag me. Put at Roger Wakefield in front of it. That way it turns up orange on my end. If I see that stuff, I'll jump in there and do everything I can to help. But if I don't, Munchie, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to try. Cody Delivery Man, same thing. Uh, I'm not ignoring anybody's question. If it's not in the forum and I don't see it, guys, I don't answer it. There's a link at the top. If you want your question answered, that's where you go. If you want me to maybe cross it in the chat, leave it here. I may. But if I don't, uh, I'm sorry, guys. If I don't see it, I can't answer it. Ben says, hey, Roger, you're going to react to English plumbing at any point. Well, of course. It'd be, it'd be a bloody shame if I didn't. Absolutely. Yeah, Munchie, you're, you're fixing to get blocked is what you're going to get. Uh, Sufo says, what's the future of Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners? Heard rumor it's going away. Well, it's not going away anymore. Uh, the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners uh, kind of got all the strength they need under their sails. They're good. They're flying strong. Everything looks wonderful right now. Have you seen sewage covered in rotten food in a sewer? Man, I've seen everything in a sewer. It's bad. Pedro says also he is a plumber. Uh, you can be a plumber in the military. See, I'm jumping over here in the chat now just because I'm trying to see y'all's questions. Okay, here we go. Munchie, I finally see. I'm assuming this is your question. Now, I can't bring it up because it's not over here. It's over here in the new chat. It says, Roger, love your videos, 30 years old, I work in corporate. I make over 80000 but love working with my hands. Question I have one, is it too late to start? Is it possible to learn part-time? No, it's never too late to start. And it's going to be hard to learn part-time. I had somebody ask me that today. When I went to the high school and spoke, they said, look, I want to work in the evenings on the, on the weekends to start getting hours. We don't work evenings and weekends. Uh, we don't do a lot of overtime work. So I'm kind of not the company to go to work for for that. I would say if that's what you want to do, find a company that does work evenings, that does work e weekends, and see what you can do to help get in there. Uh, community TV series? No. Isaac, uh, getting the trades next year. Got your hands on UPC 21 study guide. Yeah. If, you, if it's the study guide, look up the best answers in the back, the right answers. Mark them all correct, just the correct answers. Then you go through and read it like a book. It'll be phenomenal. Another one here, David Ortiz has a question. Roger, what made you get into plumbing and what was your first plumbing job? I did a rehab or a remodel of the Wells Fargo building in Lakewood, Lockwood, down off Orem. And, man, I loved it. I had a blast. That's what got me into it. One of my best friends, his, his father and his three older brothers were plumbers. Peyton Watts says, love your videos. Helps me with what kind of plumber I want to be. Peyton, if you'll go to my, up in the top right corner of my YouTube channel, I've got a free mini course, and actually it's probably in the description. If you'll go to that free mini course, I help, I answer, I ask questions like, do you want to do commercial or residential service or new construction union or non-union? And I got to tell you, it really does help. Looky there. It won't let me do it here. Uh, I'm just going to bounce to the bottom for that. And I said it, I probably bounced right past it. There we go. Number one, Chris, thank you for the super chat. Construction cronies is in the house. Look, if y'all have not gone over and subscribed to this channel, this is another good one. This is one of those channels that literally, it's about the trades, okay? A carpenter, a metal stud carpenter, metal trim carpenter, or not metal trim, frames out buildings with metal studs, talks about the different studs, how to make them sturdier, how to do this. Again, another great channel. If you hadn't done it yet, go over there, subscribe. 
ring the bell. That way you don't miss out on any of his. It's a cool deal. Nick, hello. Good to have you in here. Munchie, you're good. I don't mind the comments, but man, when I'm scrolling through here, I've told y'all if you want your questions answered, put them up there in the forum. If not, I may get to them in the chat. So don't get upset me when, when I don't. I'm trying. All right, going down from here, have you ever made a really serious mistake? Yes, I became a plumber. No, I'm joking. Uh, you know, plumbing-wise, luckily I can say I haven't. I, I've probably made some bad career moves, but at the end of the day, uh, it's nothing that I haven't learned from and grown from, so I don't have any big problems with it. Popcorn Soda says, should I go union? You know, if you go over and go through my mini course where I talk to people about residential and commercial service, new construction, union, non-union, I help ask a lot of those questions or help you answer a lot of them. I can't tell you what you should do. I can't look at Chris. I can't look at Neil. Yeah, Roger, don't make mistakes. Man, I love it, brother. Uh, Neil, good to see you in here, brother. You know, I can't tell anybody what the best thing is for them. But luckily with my experience, what I can do is ask you questions to help you make that decision. And, and what I mean is I've done residential, I've done commercial, I've done service, I've done new construction, I've done union, I've done non-union, I've done pretty much everything in plumbing that there is. But that still doesn't mean I can tell you what's best for you. But what I can do is ask you questions. So let, let's just take one of those that's really, really easy. If I ask you for the rest of your life, would you rather work in big buildings that maybe you, know, you may get up 30, 40, 50 stories off the floor? You may you know, be up where you're overlooking downtown Dallas. Uh, you may have to drive 20, 30 miles to get to that job every day. You may have to show up early to ride a buck hoist to get up on the floor where you're supposed to be. There's a lot of different things I can look at and point out and say, hey, here's what I can tell you about it. And then again, I can turn that around and say, okay, well, what if I told you that maybe you're just going to have to drive to another neighborhood? Now, it may be close. It may be far away, but you're going to drive over there. You're going to park down the road. You're going to work on a house. You're going to help somebody build their dream somewhere they want, where they want to live. And that is just kind of how it starts out talking about commercial and residential. If you can answer those questions and figure out which one you'd rather do, then that's a great place to start. Because then you roll over into service or new construction, and it's the same type of questions. Then you roll over into union or, no, or non-union, same type of questions. I can't tell you what you should do, but I can tell you this. I've been doing this long enough that, that I can pretty much ask you the right questions and listen to your answers and, and then make a decision and say, hey, based on the way you answered this, here's what my thoughts are. It goes back to... You know, what do you think about YouTube channels? Are they a great place to get logical, organized, thought-provoking information? Because it starts with that. And then you say, okay, do you like a spontaneous and playful video without all the freaking BS? Because then we go to that. And then you think about it a little bit more and say, okay, do you respect the unbiased opinion of a real plumber? Meaning, if I tell you my opinion on something, do you do you... Do you buy that? Do you believe into it? Do you say, okay, this is good? Because at the end of the day, I want everyone to know I care about them and, and I want what's best for them. And anybody that can say yes to those, look, man, just slide over there, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, like the video, share it, and tell people about it because that's what I want to bring. And if you tell me, no, man, I'm not about any of that, you know what? This may not be the right place for you. There's probably other plumbing channels out there that, that you may like better. I find it hard to believe, but there may be. Claymore Plumbing and Heating says, what are your thoughts on drain acid being used to unblock waste lines? Here in the UK, it actually causes more issues than resolves them. I'm right there with you. Uh, I do not like any chemicals in the drains, whether they're acid or acidic or acid or alkaline. You know, I, th I think chemicals are not good. Let's get the clog out and clean it out and then make it dream, dream better. I just don't think chemicals are great for them. Man, 
45 minutes before I took a drink. I feel better already. Guys, I don't know how long uh, I'll make it tonight. I'm fighting the upper respiratory infection, trying to make everything better, but it is getting better. Neil, so good to see you in here, brother. Uh, Trey Baker says, says, Roger, you're extremely inspirational. Have a great day and get well. I am trying. Oh, here's a really good one. I like this. Is there a career for salespeople in plumbing? In, in Suki86, th this is a great question because I want to tell you no, but I know that there is. There's a lot of residential service companies, especially plumbing, electrical, but the biggest one being HVAC, that if you learn the systems, if you learn the Sears, if you can talk intelligently, intelligently with people about the products your company sells, you can literally get a job just doing sales. Meaning during the Q and a during, during the, the, the initial call, the discoverability call, literally they can talk to a homeowner and find out, okay, this system, this house is 12 years old. It's never had a new system. Here's where they're at, yada, yada, yada. And they start looking about what it's going to cost for a repair versus a replacement. And then they can send out a salesperson that is really good at having that conversation with you. So look, that there's nothing bad about it. If you're good at sales, man, there's a great opportunity. That there, there really is, and I don't mean it bad. CG213B says, found a rat skeleton in my drain three years ago. Man, I, you just found a skeleton. I've actually found the rat. I found the squirrel. I found all kinds of funky things in there. Uh, Ryan Malinsky says, now what are the most basic things to know to be a decent maintenance plumber? How to unstop drains, how to fix drippy faucets, running toilets, how to replace those same faucets and toilets, things like that. So there's a lot of different things you can do. All right, guys, I am jumping back over into the forum real quick over in Kajabi, and we have got a ton of them. So I'm going to be busy over here for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and take that one off just so you all see the subreddit invitation. Uh, submission right here. It ain't moving. There we go. Rawls says, how are American plumbing standards feel like Norway is stricter? And you, you know what? I, I really don't know how Norway is compared to the United States. Uh, I do need to check because the, the, the really good thing about it is that I, I, I think, look, water flows downhill. Uh, we've got to take care of our customers. You don't want to bite your fingernails no matter where you're at. There's a lot of good things about it. And, Rald, what, what I will say is that it's something that it, it could it could be really good worth checking out. I've got another one I'll open up here in just a second. I say, Smiley Super Sticker, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. It, look, it is great having you all in here. I really do enjoy this. Nick Lopez says, thank you, Roger. Your videos helped me take the step to open your own business. And look, there's a lot of people. Yeah, she's going to tell you to quit using all caps. My night bot has got things under control, and I do kind of like that, guys. Got to tell you. Uh, thank you for the super sticker, and I, I'm glad that you did open your own business. That's wonderful. I think it's great for a lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> Ryan says, hey, Roger, fellow plumber from the UK here. Love your videos. Smart technology has begun making its way into our trade in the UK. Are you beginning to see similar things begin in the United States? Absolutely. We just finished a sponsored video through Ferguson. And, and I got to tell you, I, I really did enjoy it. But it, it was a Delta faucet. They've got another one that is voice activated. Now, this one, you just get close proximity. It detects you, water comes on, water comes off, and it's not an hour sensor, so it's it's fantastic. But the neat thing about it to me is 
the fact that they're getting voice control. I've been telling people for years, and I'm going to give you all all my information right here, my best stuff. Not really, but, you know, close. Wouldn't it be great if we could walk in the shower in the morning or walk in the bathroom in the morning to brush our teeth and say, shower, 98 degrees. And it says, yes, big poppy. Or, I'm sorry, it says, yes, Roger. And the shower would come on and, you know, it would set itself to 98 degrees. And then you'd get another voice control saying, Roger, your shower is at 98 degrees. I think that would be fantastic. So a lot of things that I've looked at like that, uh, Matt McDonald's in here. Good to see you in here. Mr. Miyagi of Plumbing, that would be me. Yeah, Neil's right. Nightbot does not like caps, y'all. Uh, Christian Waterstrat, not sure what you're talking about, how much I get paid. I get paid a lot. Okay, watch it, Neil. Watch it. Calling it like it is. Sam LaMartina, next question right here, if I can get it to come up. Sam L says, what are your suggestions for those who know about plumbing but have no desire to become a plumber in regards to fixing things? Just because you know about plumbing doesn't mean you have to become a plumber. The neat thing about it is you can actually, God, you can, you can just use it around your house and do the right thing with it. You can help your neighbors with it. Uh, one thing that I'll tell you is, is that Look, I've, I was a licensed plumber, and I got out and became a cosmetologist and a massage therapist, a bouncer and a bodyguard. I have done so many different things, so it, it, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, hey, I do get paid enough to be happy. I just saw that, Neil. That's good. I like that. You know, the, the neat thing is that Luckily, YouTube pays me now. It's kind of nice. Sponsorships pay me now. It's kind of nice. But the good thing is I get to get on here and talk to people and help people, and I love it. <sighs> mm. The most original wants to know, can you tell me about the story of the worst employee you have had? Uh, do you mean one I've had or one I have now? I'm, I'm joking. Uh you know, here's what I tell you. I, I don't like it when I get employees in. You know, at the end of the day, look, I, I do get to own this company. I am the owner. And I'm also the responsible master plumber. So to me, I should be able to say, hey, I want it done this way. And I've had plumbers that were either drunk or on drugs that would text me in the middle of the night and say, hey, man, look, I'm a martial arts expert. I'm this, I'm that. And it's like, you know what? W wake up in the morning. No plumbing company owner wants all that drama. Uh, what we want is employees that, that want to show up. And, well, I was a bounty hunter too, ready temp. Uh, I actually used to work as a bail bondsman, so I have done just about everything. You know, the, the, the thing is, is for bad employees, it's just when you get employees that think that they can do whatever they want to do, that, you know, you don't have any right to do anything about it, you're just the company owner, man, it's just, it's just kind of a, Bad situation to be in. I hate to say it, but it's so true. Got one more here in the forum, then we're going to jump back over in the chat for just a moment. Guys, if you want to make sure your questions get answered, jump up into the forum right up top, right up there. Click on that link and go over there, and they'll take care of it. Steve says, I've started to recommend tankless water heaters since natural gas prices have almost doubled. I think it's worth it as long as the customer does uh, have a need for a bigger gas service. What do you think? I, I really want to get a good tankless person, a good gas person. I've, I've met plumbers that say they install tankless water heaters all the time. They don't know how to do a gas load calculation chart. I also think a lot of the electric tankless water heaters are picking up and getting better. So I think that the potential and the possibility is just phenomenal. Uh, I just I hope that it, it catches up to where people can get them in time because I think they're huge. I, th I, I do. I think tankless is the way to go. Anytime you're not keeping water hot all day long, it's amazing. Greg says, hey, man, I love your content. Toxicity in the trades was always a concern for me since you're the exact opposite personality-wise. You know, and Greg, Greg, I love that because, look, I'm that – Personality, man, I don't give a crap. I will talk trash with people. I'm not 
confrontational avoidant or anything. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's worth fighting over, but man, there there is toxicity in the trades. And when, when you work with other trades that, you know, they, they want to poke holes in your pot, they want to cost you money, and all that does is help put people out of work. And, and to me, at the end of the day, look, we should all help and support each other. At the end of the day, man, we're all tradesmen. And we all, we, we take pride in our work. We love what we do. I just, man, I just, it blows my mind that there is this much toxicity in it. So, man, I agree with you 100%. And Big Poppy is P-A-P-I, you know, just in case you were wondering. Uh -huh. Scott Grigsby, hello to Arizona. Good to have you in here. Uh, Randy, ready temp, told you, man. I was a bounty hunter, too. I, I would love to be a full-time bounty hunter. I just did bail bonds work where I drive around here in Dallas and look for people. But, man, to be a full-blown bounty hunter, dude, that would be I'd, – I'd give Dog a run for his money. Logan Oakley says, why do companies insist on mixer valves for labs while still running cold for water closets? Can't you run mix for both? Well, here's the thing. Most water closets, that water is just used to flush. It's not used for a bidet toilet seat or anything like that. What I recommend, and, and it's really good, Logan, but I recommend that they put an electrical outlet out by the toilet or back by the toilet. That way, if I want to put in a bidet toilet seat that needs electricity and has a heater, I'm rigged for it. I think it's a great idea. Back over in the forum, Brian's gotten a question. He's an electrician. He says, I was in a client house. Her shower got clogged. Tried to run a K60, but it won't go through the P-trap, not even without the head. Subjected to camera inspection. What do you think? Uh, keep up the great job. Number one, thank you. Uh, here's the deal. You don't need a K60. You just need a small... I don't even, I wish I remember the model number. Uh, man, we've actually just converted over to a general. But a small handheld top sink snake that, I mean, that P-trap's only about this big. That big cable's not going to make that very easily, especially on a K60, no matter what size cable you have. I would put a small snake head on it, something like you would do on a washing machine or a lavatory. If you really wanted to, you could possibly go in with a blow bag. I just wouldn't blow very hard. Because if it stopped up down below and it pushes it up, you don't want it to come out the roof. So Logan Oakley, man, I hope that that helped you out. Can you earn a million a year from plumbing without a company? Not unless you're ripping people off. Uh, I don't know of a plumber that makes a million dollars a year without owning his own company. I know several that do own their own company and make that. But, I mean, to be honest, I think the best you're going to you're going to make a percentage could it be done? Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to need to sell about 10 or $12 million a year, and that's a lot. I mean, that's selling 250000 a month, and that's normally what a truck does in a week. So, I'm sorry, normally what a truck does in a month, you're going to be selling that in a week. So I think it's going to be tough. But, man, I'll tell you what, popcorn soda with, with an attitude like that, you come to work for me, and we'll figure out a way to make it work somehow, some way. Um. Mooktoast Weeb says, I'm glad the internet exists because running into an issue can use it to find the answer. Absolutely. Construction cronies. Mr. Chris says, I'm not a plumber, but I love coming here and talking with other trades. I think one of the biggest problems in the trades is we don't understand each other and communicate enough. And, and man, that's what I was talking about a while ago. Look, and, and I do. I, I love Chris. I think he's phenomenal at what he does. When Paul Peck jumps in here, I've got, you know, Sean Strong. I've got... Cruz Soto, I mean, I've got so many brothers that just jump in here, and man, it is great. Neil the Urban Explorer says, out of all your jobs you've done, is there one that sticks out in your head more than most for good or bad reasons? You know, but believe it or not, I think I enjoyed being a massage therapist because, and actually the bartender was the most fun, but I enjoyed being a massage therapist because I think I help people the most. I was really good. I was one of these people. My, my mother used to have back problems and neck problems. So I used to massage her neck and shoulders when I was a kid. So for, for me to be able to get in there and, and touch a neck or shoulder and something and feel problems and know that that's what that was, and I always thought that's what I was good at. 
I got to tell you, man, I love being a bartender. I I get back there and I play around. I have fun. So pretty cool. Diago says, what are traits you look for in a new apprentice? I, I want people that want to show up every day, that do show up every day. They come in with that mindset that they're ready to get it. They're ready to learn. They want to work hard. I think that's huge. Smiley says, I know nothing about plumbing, but your channel is entertaining. Uh, it kind of is. And it's kind of scary because I don't know anything about plumbing either. I just get in here and make videos. No, I do. I have fun. So thank you very much. Horizon Farming says, do you use hemp in the U.S.? We use it all the time in Norway. You know, we used to use it as running ropes, uh, oakum, stuff like that. Uh, we smoke it. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, no, we really don't. Your Wakefield just invested in the tools to make bespoke water tanks for vans. It's a plastic welding kit and a game changer. Look, guys. I've told y'all, keep an eye on Neil. This is the Urban Explorer, Neil C. If you have not subscribed to him and Construction Cronies, who's, who's next, literally, then subscribe to these guys because they are doing great things, not just in the trades, but on YouTube. And it is. It is so fun to watch them. I'm trying to look over in the forum, see if I have any questions. Yeah, it looks like I may have one. We'll double check here. Dyer says, I have a friend who's currently learning from his father who is well experienced in plumbing. Any recommendations for him? Yeah, if you've got a father, if you've got a brother, a cousin, anybody in the trades that you think can help get you in, talk to them. Ask them. Hey, look, if I get in the trades with you, do I have the ability to learn and grow? I think it's huge. Uh, if you get the right people to help teach you and educate you, getting in the trades, you may not have to learn from mistakes everybody else makes. They may be able to help you right past them. So, there, I think that is fantastic. I think it's great. If it wasn't for me getting in with, with my friend uh, and him introducing me to his dad and his three brothers telling me about them, I may not have got in. Andrew says, thinking about moving from California to Texas, is there a part you recommend that is in need of work the most, paying the best? Well, number one, I think Dallas probably pays as much or more than most of the other locations. I, I go back to, Andrew, I want you to think about this. What do you like doing the most? If you like residential service, I think that's where you'll make the most money. You know, if you are, man, come to Dallas, talk to me. If you're just, look, I just, I want to be in the trades, don't care where you're at, stuff like that, then look around at different things. I tell people all the time, the people that will make the most money or the trade that you'll make the most money in is the one that you love the most because you will try harder to learn it, try harder to grow in it. You'll really do much better at it. So I, I promise you, I think that'll help you more than you'll ever know. All right. I am right now caught up on question in the forum. So anybody has any questions, wants to jump over there. Great thing to do. Chris says, being in charge of workers is the hardest job out there. Every worker you do adds to the roster, adds more problems and stress. You need to be a master at delegating and organization. You know, the good thing is, too, you need help. If you're working more than five or ten men, you need to, to – kind of promote people below you to help. It's really tough sometimes because, number one, we get out and we want to do so much, but the more people you oversee, definitely the harder it is. Drain Medic, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Michael Pond says, is there stuff that I got to look at specifically to give quotes out? And you've got to look at everything. Uh, you've got to look at everything. You've got to learn everything. You've got to be able to talk to people in the language of what they want, what they need, how they want it, how they need it, and why your price is what it is. Uh, I just don't like that tankless needs annual flushing, calcium mineral buildup in the system. It's good for plumbers, extra income. Uh, ready, Tim, I literally just got a message yesterday or the day before on my video, the one where I teach people how to flush it. 
And this lady says, thank you. She says, my, my husband and my daughter did this. They did it together. They watched your video step by step and did fantastic. I thought that was greatness. Jerry Young says, Roger, how can a Canadian plumber work in the United States? Thank you. First of all, Jerry, you got to figure out how to get your butt here. Uh, I know that y'all are still locked down pretty tight. Uh, here in Texas, we don't even know what the word lockdown means anymore. Uh, if you can get down to Texas and you can prove your hours, you can pretty much get a job as a plumber and do well. So I hope that helps. Swacom so Jr. says, 15 years old right now, I want to be a plumber before I can go to plumber school. Uh, number one, where are you at? Because you're talking about plumber school and all plumbers don't go to school. Some just go straight to work, open shop. But I would definitely, yeah. Uh, first of all, where are you at? What are you trying to do? Drain Medics is quarter inch cable. And a quarter inch cable would be great for that drain we talked about a while ago. The shower drain. First Timothy 255, for there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus himself. Yes, sir. Glocks Pro says, how's your day going, Roger? Just found your channel a few days ago, and so far I'm enjoying it a lot. All I ask is that you turn it on and watch videos 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at least for the first month or two. And then if you found one video in there you liked, tell 4,000 of your closest friends to do the exact same thing. Uh, not Number one, uh, Glocks Pro, thank you so much. I, I do appreciate the fact that you just took the time to just tell me that you, that you did like it. That really is a big deal to me. Uh, I, I just ask, look, if you like it, man, jump in, leave comments, tell us hello, say hi. We're, uh, we, we're literally doing everything we can to make good videos. We enjoy it. We have fun at it. And like I said a while ago, guys, look, if you like this, Man, take a selfie of you watching this, share it, tag me on any social platform. We will try to find it and, and tell people about it. But that lets YouTube know that you either liked the channel, you thought it was worth sharing, you, you thought it was worth, worth watching, anything at all like that. So Glock says pro, I'll, I'll tell you, I was really kind of not joking. Watch it for four days straight around the clock, tell 4,000 of your closest friends to do the exact same thing. Uh, Johnny G says, hey there, boss. I have a good question for you. Do the metal drain catchers that I've put in my sink actually help? 